Programming from within the Quick Editor is quite simple. <coughs> to understand the Quick Editor functions, on the left-hand column, these are your manual movement and function keys. If you want to jog the robot without affecting the input into the program, use the keys on the left column. Manually move the robot using the slider. This movement will not be inputted into the program. Same thing for vacuum circuits to test on and off. This again will not affect the program. Only inputting the functions or the positions into the dialog box labeled 1, 2, 3, etc. will upload directly to the CPU. When a quick editor program is opened or created, it is automatically transferred to the CPU. It is not necessary for the operator to transfer this to the CPU as if you would in the text editor. On the right-hand side, you will be able to go to the specific items from these icons. For instance, to look at only the timers that are in the current selected quick edit program named QC, select the timer button, and it will show you only the boxes pertaining to a timing value. The same thing for a percentage value, which could include speeds or default vacuum levels. When we select this, we see that we have the default vacuum levels for vacuum one and two in this program, as well as the speeds for placing and takeout. The positional key appears, and we would see the positions that are in this QC program. If there were counters used in this program or placing programs, those icons would appear on the right-hand side also. To teach a position within the Quick Editor, select the box position that you want to teach and the axes within that box. Read the comment and move the robot to the positions pertaining to the comment. For instance, the Z position above mold, waiting for the mold open signal. Select the Z axis. And here, you have two alternatives to input the value. We can move to the position using the slider and physically moving the robot. Or, if the position value is known, select the input box and via the keypad, input the location the robot should reside above mold. Be very careful that if you do not know the exact position, use the slider rather than the numerical input. Once the position is attained, to input it into the program, select the green checkbox. Consequently, for timers, the same application is chosen. Select the timer you want to set, select the input box, and either using the slider to maneuver the time, or inputting the value via the keypad, and using the green check to put it into the program. Once again, every time you input a value into the dialog box, the numbered quick edit box, it will automatically upload to the CPU. Once the program has been completed, the robot is ready to test its positions and functions. That will be shown in another video. Thank you.